Hi everyone, it's me Spring, the fiber enthusiast. It's been a fun and exciting week this week. Today's podcast episode is episode 43. All right, thank you all for coming and hanging out with me each and every week through each and every video doing those whole thumbs up and comments and hanging out there and giving me your honest thoughts as far as what you would do with some of the stitch tutorials I've put out. I appreciate that because it helps with feedback and gives me ideas as to what you're thinking about when you're looking through patterns or you see things things that pique your interest. Um, maybe that stitch won't turn into something, but I know that you said, hmm, I think I would make this with it. That tells me that this amount of people are looking at scarves or that's the first thing that comes to their mind when they see a certain stitch pattern. And the same thing with afghans or whatever it may be, tablecloths, uh, table runners. Um, so that's very helpful when you comment and give me some feedback. There's multiple ways that I could go with that. So thank you very much for everybody that's been commenting. I know this this past Wednesday was a, a very long tutorial. I totally understand. <laughs> and I tried to make it as short as possible without cutting too much information out. Um, so those of you that did watch it and said that you liked it and thought about, you know, using it on something, thank you very much for that. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I was concerned about putting that out there because it was definitely a big one to do. But moving on, I want to welcome anybody new that is just poking around for the first time or has been here just, you know, a little bit and still kind of scoping things out. Thank you very much for coming over and hanging out with me and everybody that comes in hangs out with me each and every week through each and every video. Now that all that's said and done, <laughs> let's move on. Um, Saturday podcast is a what spring been up to this week. I uh, getting a little bit of farm stuff done, got some seeds planted, uh, turn the soil in the little garden. I'm not going to be able to have a big garden this year. It's just too much. Um, for my knee and I know it, it's already getting to the point that I know better and I know that I'm not going to be able to handle a large garden like I would prefer to have. So doing just the small garden, I'm starting to get the soil turned and different things set up for it. Um, the horses are starting to think about shedding. So yeah, that's got to happen. <sighs> That means we're actually going into spring. Um, that's the farm stuff. As far as uh, here in the craft studio, the fiber studio, um, during one of next week's tutorials, I managed to all of a sudden have this like, wow, epiphany, bright idea. And I used some of the hand spun yarn that I had spun previously from the Lion Brand yarn that I made into roll eggs and spun it. I've got to make more of it pretty much exactly the same so I can make a matching set. And there's a reason for a matching set. I'm doing knitted and crocheted because I have a pretty equal group out there. Um, but there's something coming up in June that is going to require sets. So keep an eye out for that. Um, this is the hat that I created out of the hand spun yarn. So 
I'll take it off of her and put it on me. So there you go. It could be just a hair bigger in the brim. I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough to make it completely out of what I had. So the next one that I make will definitely have a larger brim to come down further. And I'm still not sure if I want to make this a messy bun or a complete covered of the coverage of the head, the crown of the head. So we'll see. But that's one thing I made this week and I've got to make something to match it. All this stuff is going to come at little bits and pieces. So I did that uh, this week. And I worked a little bit more on my uh, locking fillet crochet Lisa Conley pattern. Just a little bit more. Last time I was like down in here, I think. So I'm on row 82 of 130 rows. So we're getting, we're getting close. So I worked on that. And the other thing that I worked on, um, last week I only had one sock for my April Sock It To Me Challenge. I only had one sock ready to go and was working on it. And I said that hopefully this week I'd be able to get the other one started and potentially to the same size as the one I already had been working on and get them both on a uh, magic loop long cord. And I did. So I was able to get the second sock done to the same as the one that I already started and get them both on the same cord so that way I can start working them both at the same time. But here you go. Whew, air conditioner kicked off. Yay, I can hear. You can kind of see the pattern there. So any patterns or channels that I talk about will be listed down in the description box as always along with my information as to other places you can find me, like my Facebook group, uh, Instagram, and email, which are also found at the top banner of my homepage. Um, Thursday night, I put up a poll as to whether to use brown or green fiber to spin, and green was the win. So that is what I am spinning Thursday nights right now. And this is handcrafted in West Virginia. And it's called, the colorway is Back Creek Valley. And it's 100% Cordell. So I took the roving, I split it in half, long ways, and put this one aside and started spinning Turn it that way. Started spinning on the first half. Once I have both halves spun into singles, I will ply the two together. Okay, so that's all for that side. Um, last Sunday in Bailey's Live, I was working on... I pick this up every so often. It is a waffle stitch square. And I'll start from the center and go out. This is, like I said, I've been working on this for several years. And the yarn that I'm using is a DK weight, so it takes a long time. So that is the center. And 
these are the corners so you can see that the waffle stitch goes in the square And when I got the yarn, the idea was I, I got a really good deal on some J James C. Brett. I love it. It's super soft. I love working with it. And unfortunately, when I did it, I got DK. So it's taking a lot. <laughs> I like DK for a lot of things, but Afghans is not one of them. <laughs> But um, I knew, I know Waffle Stitch is a yarn eater. So I made sure and got plenty. And this is going to go on a, basically a California King bed. And when I bought the yarn, I bought it in different colorways. But each of the colorways had the, has the previous color in it. So like, the center is peaches, blues, and it's got some green and yellow to it. So then I went into a blue, and the blue has the peach, the previous color, some deep greens, some yellows. And then I went into a purple, which actually the blue in some spots has purple in it. So then I went into the purple, and the purple, again, has some greens and yellows and blues and peaches they all kind of have the same colors but one has more color like the blue and the peach and the purple so after i get past the amount of purple that i have it'll go into this green and in this green it also has some purple and brown which is kind of hard to see right there but it does have some purples and some brown to it. Okay, so guess what the next color is? We already did purple, now we got green. That's right. Next we move into the browns. And the brown has purple in it and blue in it. And don't want to pull too much out, but there's some darker browns in it as well. Well, there we go. Some darker browns in it as well. And then I'm going to move on after I've finished the brown into blacks. That'll be my final colorway around the outside. But as you can see, it has some peaches and some greens and oranges in it. So that goes back to the center, which is that main color of peach. And this is the yarn. It is James C. Brett Harmony. 260 meters, 284 yards. It's a, it's 70, sorry. It is 78% premium acrylic and 22% cotton. And like I said, this is a DK weight. It says, knits to most DK patterns. <laughs> but it is a DK weight because it's James C. Brett Harmony. And at the very bottom there, it says double knitting. I love it. It is absolutely so soft. And squishy, of course, because of the pattern. So I was working on that. And actually, you can kind of see there's a lot here. <laughs> but it just, at this present moment, it just barely comes to the edge of the mattress. Like, barely. And that's if you kind of really stretch it out. So... I still have quite a ways to go. We'll see. But that is what I that is what I've been doing this week. Um next week we have our standard Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday patterns. Um there's no tatting at this moment. I haven't heard anything back on the tatting, so I'm going to stop with the tatting for a little while. Um, I will probably start incorporating a few other things other than knitting and crocheting. 
uh, stitch tutorials. Uh, we'll see. I'm good. I'm going to put some cotton on my smaller loom, not my huge one, but my smaller loom. I need some more hand towels. Uh, was goofing around in the kitchen and noticed I needed a few more hand towels. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and probably sometime soon do that on my small loom. So I'll probably incorporate some of the weaving and things like that into the next, the upcoming weeks. We'll see. Um, everything as far as my personal channel will stay the same as far as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, educational. Uh, Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the live where you'll see me spin yarn and chit chat. Uh, May 5th, I have a very special guest coming up, a woman that I have personally bought uh, fiber from before uh, who lives in Montana. She is going to go live with me that night as long as nothing changes between now and then and we should be able to get to see some lambs given that everything goes smoothly with farm life. It could change at any given moment. So we, we're just hoping. So uh, that's on the 5th, which is a Thursday of next month. Uh, same normal time and everything. And Saturday is my podcast. Everything as far as my channel will stay the same. The only thing is, is I'm not able to be involved in everybody's lives that I was in and chit-chatting. I may pop in here or there and say hi. And please take no offense to that. I need to get busy on the farm. Now that my knee is feeling better, I can start getting caught up on some of the things that for almost a year now has not been getting done uh, due to the knee injury. So please, it's nothing personal. Everything with my channel is going to stay the same. Nothing's going to happen there. I just need to ha be able to get busy and get on to things out on the farm. Uh some things that have been neglected as far as, you know, farm work. So I think that is it for this week. I greatly appreciate you coming and seeing what I've been up to this week. And um, yeah, till next time, everybody be blessed and be a blessing. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.